A North Texas man is one of the first patients to benefit from new technology that gives doctors more time to perform delicate lung transplant surgeries. Fox News' Alex Boyer has more on the patient and the procedure. Hi, Alex. Hey, Clarice, you know, it's an exciting development. Uh, so far, approximately 12 patients have received a double lung transplant uh, due to this new so-called lungs in a fridge technology uh, that is now available in the U.S. at Northwestern Memorial in Chicago. Among them is a husband and father of two from North Texas who has been battling colorectal cancer for nearly a decade. Tad Crossland has a lot to live for. The 49-year-old Mansfield resident is a husband and father of twin boys, young men now. He's an avid skier and golfer. But he's had to put his life on hold due to his ongoing battle with stage 4 colorectal cancer. You know, this originally started when I was um, 40. And even worse, the cancer spread to his lungs. I talked to Crossland in Chicago, where he underwent a double lung transplant in September of last year. It wasn't easy and they had complications removing them. So, you know, they were fused to my chest wall. The life-saving surgery was performed at the Northwestern Medicine Canning Thoracic Institute. Now we are really happy you're here today because your surgery was uh, absolutely one of the most difficult that I've done in my career. And the lungs that we saw and took out were perhaps the most disease that we've ever seen. Surgeons needed extra time for the delicate procedure, and they were able to get it through a state-of-the-art lung refrigerator. The technology was pioneered in Canada and Europe, and within the last few months, it was adopted successfully at Northwestern Medicine. The refrigeration can keep the lungs intact for up to 18 hours, compared to about four hours when kept on ice. With this new type of preservation, our team can fly greater distance across the U.S. Part of the program's mission is to treat patients like Crossland who have advanced lung diseases and are out of options. Crossland was one of 12 patients who had the lung transplant surgery in 2024 using lung refrigeration. He's forever grateful. I'm doing fantastic. You know, I was told I would be in the hospital two to four weeks. I was out nine days. Um, I went to you know, rehabilitation, and I got out of there early as well. It takes an army for me to, you know, to be here today, and I had a lot of folks, you know, that supported me and prayed along the way. And, you know, one thing I don't want to leave out, too, is thanking the donor as well. Um, somebody, you know, paid the ultimate sacrifice for me to be here today. Absolutely. And, you know, I talked with Tad afterwards again, and he tells me he has to remain in Chicago until September for ongoing monitoring. He tells me as soon as he is cleared, he plans to plan a travel vacation going skiing with his family from North Texas.